Welcome back, my friends. We are on 32 in a row with Mrs. Eden. Let's see if we can keep a streak of rolling. And that's right, it was an Eden's Blessing run from the last run. And now we start with the ever lovely and ever. I mean. Oh, okay, that was just bad dodge, I'll be honest. An ever uh, controversial item. So, what do we got? Let's take a look, huh? Woo! <laughs> We've got the uh, fruitcake, if you guys could not tell by now. What does fruitcake do? Well, oh, that's insanely good. I love x-ray vision. One of the best, that's for sure. We're going to have a great run. That's that's what, I'm ta that's what I'm talking about right there. Ooh, keeper's box. Don't really need it, I'll be honest. Tarot cloth and piggy bank are so dang good, we'd be happy to have either. Now, what are we looking at? Fruitcake. So, every single time we shoot a shot, it has a chance to be one of any random tier effect. And that's, you know, kind of fun. I like it, honestly, I do, especially early game. It's, it's really good early game. Um, but it kind of falls off later once you have a better control over your runs. And that's, you know, that's typically how some of these items go. It's It fits in that same vein as the ever-lovely Ipecac. I mean, I don't know. I mean, I don't want to say Ipecac. I mean, yeah, I don't like Ipecac long-term. Um, what else? Pyromaniac is another good short-term power. Whoa. We got, we got the troll card from an enemy there somehow. So we also start with Meat, which is a damage and HP up, because otherwise we'd be at one red heart to start this run, and that is unideal. You don't want to be sitting at one HP to start a run. It's the most dangerous time of the run, is the start. Honestly, as Eden. Woo! <laughs> and uh, we are, we're gaming, okay? this We're off to the races a little bit here. We've got something uncontrollable happening. Now... What uh, what am I really looking at, honestly, as like potential problems with the run? Our tier rate is hilariously low. You do not want to see 1.81, especially when you're rolling hard with something like fruitcake, where more shots the better. I mean, that's how you play the game. So, what are we gonna do? Uh, we're just gonna hope against hope that our boss gives us the uh, tiers up that we need. Uh, damage is set right now. I'm fully come. I'm fully like set. I feel I fully believe in our damage, and we're not going to get in our D20 play, unfortunately. So, yeah, the damage is going to get taken care of. And why do I say that? Because fruitcake delivers, man. Fruitcake is going to be so good for our damage. It just adds an insane amount of value. So, you should you should feel real good about our current stock there. And now we can talk about X-ray specs, baby. As you guys see. Uh, no secret room is going to be off limits, man. We're going to be able to see and walk into every single one, and that is so good. That's that's going to save a lot of bombs in the bomb economy world. It's going to you know, cure cancer. I mean, we're going to do everything. I should have used the fool card. That's a good point. I should have brought the fool card into that cursor I was just in. And, uh, but honestly, I kind of forgot we had it, so that would be why I did not use it. Playing this guy, just there's a there's an outside chance that he pays. Wow. And it's unfortunately an item I absolutely despise, so we're not going to roll with it. Uh, it's a blow up the donation machine type of run. It really is. Now I get to choose between Piggy Bank or Tarot Cloth. Man, both of these are so good. We'd be happy to have either. Um, I'll go Tarot Cloth. Tarot Cloth makes the world go round. The world is round. It is not flat. Ooh. Woo! School bags! We get to keep Keeper's Box on this run, so... Sweet! Now I really wish I had Piggy Bank, because this is a money run, baby. This is a money-hungry run. But, that's neither here nor there, I suppose. Now, we rock and roll. Uh, this floor, you know, is not perfect as far as how I played it. I think if you wanted to be critical um you know especially dry or moist if you want to be critical however you want to be critical but uh whoa i can i can point to a few things i, I would have played better and that's you know using the tarot cards and probably you know maybe a little couple other things too that i can't even think of but we're rolling we're rolling and we've got we've got good bones on this run okay we've got good bones now i didn't even think i, I don't think oh <laughs> A library okay we could have book of revelations and satanic bibles sitting in there that would be incredible we'd have the deadpool of deadpool runs man and i would i would be so remiss that i did not pick up 
piggy bank because we would just be taking damage like it's our freaking day job. I mean, it would literally be to our benefit to just keep getting smoked for money. Dang it. And keeper's box as well. That's that's going to be the one that got away. If you want my honest opinion. Uh, so I'm living a little bit with regret. But tarot cloth is... Oh, okay, I don't really know what I was doing there. Tarot cloth is just the best to ever do it. So let's keep it a buck. Ooh. You know, it's not... Oh. Yeah, there's the there's the explosive shot that you actually have to be careful for with fruitcake. Pyro, py, the pyro maniac shots also count as explosive because they will ignite on enemies from time to time. But ooh, cracked dice, so dang good. And <laughs> we flipped spots with the keys and the uh, uh, penny. There, so that's actually kind of funny. That's a that's an example of D twenty potentially showing up in a big way on this run. Uh, I feel good about it. Honestly, I uh, I think we've got something good here. Something that's going to really pop off, I honestly believe. And uh, Mom's Bottle of Pills is not, like, love-worthy. We're not loving it, per se. I am going to go get that cracked dice because we can get ourselves bookworm in this very... Arc uh, yeah, I was, in my mind, there was only going to be two books in here. That's funny how that works out. Um, Bible. Fun. I'm honestly, I could replace Keeper's Box with anything there. No, I'm mad. So there goes my D20, uh, D20 praise. D20, I used you incorrectly. I honestly did not know D20 re-rolled. I guess that counts as a pickup, but I mean, I didn't really own it yet, so I was... Kind of sure that dice... So what just happened was... Oh, nice. What happened was I D20'd that room. And I also Keeper's Boxed. And I guess Keeper's Box drops count as stuff D20 can roll. Which, um... You know, if we're keeping it a buck... Book of Sin essentially does the same thing Keeper's Box does most times I use it. It would give us a... Uh, consumable that can be re-rolled by d20 so synergy all around however what keepers box does have in in uh, right there spirit hearts spirit hearts and items so keepers box isn't just uh, well actually book of sin does spirit hearts too it just won't do items that's why we're keeping uh keepers box over book of sin is the outside chance of an item and we're getting just some garbage space for items that is no lie. F U C K Y O U free lemonade. Not in the mood. Oh, there's an explosive shot. You saw it. I saw it. We all saw it. What do I really want to get on this floor? I'm telling you right now, uh, Caves and Beyond is going to be a real pain in the. Uh, oh, hello. Real pain in the buns if we do not improve our current tier rate. Shooting slow is the worst affliction in the game and we're gonna try and remedy that right yeah i mean pentagram's fine oh yep backstabber's good backstabber's great backstabber's getting on my dinner plate that's what that's what I, that's what they always say i think uh yep don't need to question that one okay uh let's i mean we can get into that curse room for free okay. and uh, we're gonna that is fully intention full intention what am i even saying uh, oh, Ace of Diamonds is just so wonderful. I might go ahead and grab it. And what's the other card? I don't know. It is the Hanged Man, which is not a bad card. Is there any need for flight on this run currently? I mean, we can get two pennies. We could. We actually could get two pennies. That would be the play. Uh, okay. Okay. Ooh. This is good, because now we can D20 for some other stuff. So blue key means uh, what it just told us was... Re nice. Justice. Oh, oh, wait, what? No, I saw a Justice card. It was Reverse Hermit. No. <laughs> oh, my gosh. What am I doing? I'm throwing. Oh, man. 
there's a lot of cards there. I, I wasn't even thinking, and I just immediately did the... Uh, regret. I mean, there's really no benefit to re-rolling past 15 cents. We're not going to really be able to afford anything high price, so we got to have to walk on that one. I could hang man for two extra pennies and try the re-rolls again, but I'm not too uh, worried about that. So we're heading down. Again, this, this run just needs a few pieces before it's, like, unstoppable. It's got great bones. It's got great bones. So, low tier right here is going to be kind of a, just a, a real chore. You're going to hear me complain about it often. And uh, I don't necessarily even feel that bad. But Backstabber <laughs> is phenomenal. For those wondering what Backstabber does, why it's why all of a sudden you hear these weird gushy noises. That's what it is. It's a gush. A gush, probably. What am I, <laughs> what am I saying? Uh... It's Backstabber. Basically, if you can hit an enemy from behind, your shot does double damage, and then they leave a trail of uh, blood for a little bit. What? Oh, that's generous. I, I guess I was looking at the wrong thing there. A lot of flies in this room. Not like anti-fly, but, you know, we could do without, in my honest and humble opinion. Well, I hope you guys had a good uh, day. Uh, I just got through with April Fools, and um, it was a fun one uh, at work. You know, I, we're we're all old enough to not really like go crazy. Like, uh, not saying this has ever happened, but I'm just saying what what could happen. I'm sure in the realm of April Fools jokes, to some circles, is uh, you know I just took a dump in the urinal. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's pure speculation of course so there you go diplopia that's exact i mean this is right this is textbook this is exactly what i'd asked for for christmas from the game and uh it gave it to me diplopia an excellent space for item to uh double items double anything in a room actually it can get pretty out of control <laughs> now i am willing to try Okay, yeah, I knew you were a ghost, bro. Don't even sweat. Woo, got the key. I'm willing to try re-rolling it just to see if D20 re-rolls that item pedestal. It could... What? What is that tear effect? It's a bozo-ass tear effect, dude. I didn't want that. All right, what do we got in here that I want to pick up, and what can we leave? I can leave the money. I want a key. So Diplopia stayed. All right, it really did just come down to the fact that I was holding on to something that, or that I was looking at something that was a pickup. So there we go. We can reroll. I, sh oh my lord, I'm just getting whacked right now, dude. There's a lot going on, and uh, I'm not doing my best at prioritizing. <laughs> Whoa! Oh my god! Well, I'm getting pissed because I'm playing like Garbo. I've got a potty mouth today, too. That's not... You hate to see it. So this is, uh... This is Caves 1. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. There you go. This is blue key for you. We're not gonna be paying co pay, uh, keys to go in. To these uh, wonderful rooms, so we can get into a shop for uh, and and item room uh, without having to spend a key. No way, no way, bruh, you are awful. I love the back-to-back -back, uh, shots there that did not go straight. <laughs> that was pretty good. Oh. All right, let's go to this second secret room. I really wish I knew my HP. I'd play that, but uh, it's not good to take chances on runs where you don't really necessarily have the most faith in yourself at the moment. It will be all right if we get a tears up. Now, I'll, I'll say it one more time just to really drive it home. 
but that's that's where it's at. That's where we are all at. Uh, bomb. Yeah. Ooh. Honestly, nightlight kind of sweet. I'm not gonna lie to you. I don't hate nightlight here. Um, I don't really love any of the rest of that. Oh, so if I don't go in, okay, I should have picked up that key before I left that room, but now I know. Oh yeah. Buddy's getting cooked. Right, we can try D20 one more time. It's uh, the next floor. If we don't get tear up here, I'm going to play very, very smart um, D20. Like we're going to stock up all of our keepers boxes into a single room. Okay, like we're gonna, it's gonna be better. Better play. Just to just to squeeze advantage out of it. If that's really what the situation calls for, I don't know. It might. We got Gertie J, who's gonna be tough. Uh, there's no lie. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, I'm on Red Hearts now, so there's your answer. Oh, okay. Backstabber plus uh, whatever that was. Ah, excellent. So now we're now we're straight cheesing. And I need red hearts. It's 15 minutes already, dude. No way. No way. We're going so slow. <laughs> um, my bad. We are on straight red hearts. I know this because we got hit in the boss and took away our deal with the devil chance. The only way that happens like that is if you don't have any more spirit hearts. That's how I got to that conclusion. And I, it's, there's nothing here that's diplopy worthy. So, unfortunately, we're going to have to walk. There is stuff here that I... This is going to be potentially another floor like the basement one where there's a lot left on the table. And if I was paying closer attention before the floor, I, I would be able to make something happen. So... I'm locking in on caves too. We're gonna watch uh, and learn here. Some real, some real gangster stuff is about to go down. Okay, so three red hearts. Let's make a mental note. I see that tinted rock. We're gonna get what's rightfully ours. Okay. A vault. Oh, okay. We can actually reach three of these. That's good for business. Oh, ah. All right, so 72% chance to deal with the devil is really high. And uh, all we have in there is blood rights. So I'm not, I'm not like in love with that. Okay, here we go. This is where we play, uh, play like we want to win right here. Uh, okay. <laughs> I guess that'll do. Wait, did I have ace of spades? Okay, 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 okay. Wait, 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 wait. We've got play, we got better plays. We've got better plays. Um, I will use this in here uh, to get that. That's totally fine. But Ace of Spades drops a ton of consumables. So we're going to find a room that has a lot of enemies in it. So that fly room would have actually been really good. Um, I just was, you know, st still processing. So there we go. A lot of keys. A planetarium. Okay. I am intrigued game i would love to see what's in this lovely little shop of horrors it's oh uranus is so, so oh charge baby uranus is so strong there i feel great about it it's actually worth picking up pennies uh you may not believe that but we don't need keys as much as we usually do because every item room and you know everything so far doesn't require keys so we're looking pretty spectacular there. Uh, we're also looking really spectacular with Uranus. So we're gonna start shooting. It doesn't matter where our damage is anymore uh, until we get to bosses. Our damage is literally irrelevant, completely irrelevant. We just get, we just free stuff. That's all we're gonna be doing. So that's awesome. That is unbelievably awesome to find there. And I feel very blessed. Unicorn stump, fun. Uh, it's fun, but it doesn't. Unfortunately, we're kind of. Until I'm ready to uncommit to our synergy here of Keeper's Box D20, it's going to be what it looks like. That's, like, you see, what you see is what you get on that one. Wow. 
How did I not get hit there is such a good question. So at this point, uh, we're just going to keep dumping keeper's boxes in here. Jacob's Ladder would be pretty sweet, huh? So, yeah, we're, we're looking, things are looking real good. Okay, our, our stock just went up incredibly high with this uh, Synergy. Look at that. Uh, charge Baby will be good. Uh, I want to see what the actual shop has, though. That would be uh, number one priority for sure. And we're going to go ahead and D20 this room. We've got a lot of consumables in here. I still think the, the pennies are probably good pickups. Oh, green. Ooh, that is insane. So, okay, I've learned something new again. This is a very interesting synergy. Um, what just happened was <laughs> D20 re-rolled the shop item pedestal because it saw it as a consumable. But playing by the rules of Keeper's Box, it re-rolled it into just another random what could have been shop floor item. And that happened to be an actual item. So that's... We have a somewhat, we have a D6 until it gets an item. Like we have, we have, it'll reroll these until it hits an item and then it won't reroll anymore. That's like, this is very unique. I've never, I don't think I've ever seen these two items interact in this way. Uh, so that's really cool. You know, you learn something new. This, that guy's gonna blow up. Oh, <laughs> okay. Spirit hearts are starting to come plentiful now. This is great. This is real good for business. Now, I'm not, like, loving the idea of going into curse rooms. I just, I'm not, like, going to dedicate my life to it. Okay, they... Oh. These guys both turned gold, so I wonder what happened to the money there. So, here's another thing. Uh, I believe Fruitcake used to shoot a Greed's Eye Shot, which costs a penny to shoot. Uh, which is not good, right? You don't, you don't like that item because, you know, it's, it's usually... I mean, it's usually fine. It's just, like... You shoot a penny and it's like, okay, well now I don't have 15 cents or, you know, something, some, something silly like that. This would be a great D20 room, uh, but the floor is pretty much done and I'm a lot stronger now where I don't have to really micromanage in the same way. But that would have been a good D20 room. We'll take Charge Baby because, listen man, we've got the money. And uh, it's time to start flipping our luck around. But this is, you know... A run that we've yet to miss a secret room. Okay, these little things. If you play the if you play the long game, the little things add up major. Whoa, whoa. So if we freeze those things and hit them into them, they like it's a shotgun. Wow, that's actually insane. Uh, unfortunately, we got the deal with the devil. That is unfortunate. Uh, so we're gonna go. I, I I know it's blood rights. I don't even need to go back in there. We would have loved to miss that deal with the devil. Love to. And Curse the Unknown. Uh, it's too bad, so sad. I know I have three red hearts. And let's think. I got six. It might, I might be at three and a half. Excuse me. Uh, three and a half spirit hearts. Oh, somebody explained me what those rooms do. I just can't remember. I think it's if you have red hearts, they always full heal. They don't give you the spirit hearts, but if you don't have red hearts, they do give you the four, the three or four spirit hearts. So the, the beds are always pretty good if you can if you can swing them. Yeah, I mean you can you can heal all dang day if you'd like. It's not gonna change your change your life. Uh, your life belongs to me. So we are like the frozen king. Okay, we are we're loving life. I'm I'm not picky about D20, but I also it's. Like, I don't need to waste it either. Like, I will wait until we get a good chance to D20. I'm not going to just blow it on a single uh, item. Single drop. I think that would be silly. Especially on these floors, you know, we know, we know we're going to get more stuff eventually, so. We can blow him up to increase our... Wow, ow. We our increase our deal with the double chance. That'd be good. So, growth hormones we got from our boss. Didn't really get to talk about the speed up there was probably the best part about it. Um, I'm telling... Oh, yeah. Wow. I'm telling you right now, um, damage is pretty much the most irrelevant stat we can collect. It's... I mean, seriously. It's like at that point... It's going to be helpful for bosses and mini bosses, but fruitcake is, supplements us 
in those ways. I mean, we're going to be getting these Trisagian shots, which I found out on the last run. Trisagian is an insane item. Like, legitimately, legitimately one of the best. Uh, what is this? Chaos. Okay. Ow! <laughs> so, Deep Pockets also works really well with us. Uh, we're going to get... It's going to drop multiple... Okay, I said I wanted to play better, and I'm not playing better, so... Daddy's getting mad. Alright, that's for sure. Ooh. Well, here you go. This'll be, uh, this'll be a great one to give the beans to. Alright, boom. The sun is so good. We got a black heart, which is also so good. Oh, thank you, Charge Baby. I think he did that earlier on the f on the floor too, and I didn't notice it then. But Ooh. Uh, we're probably to the point where we can ditch blue key, but it's like I don't really have a trinket to replace it with. So really, what would be the point? Yeah, yeah, baby. Let's go, baby. Uh, converter is good. We just can't really make use of it, and we need the item room. That's about all we need. I'll D20 once more in here and just pick up the remains and call her good. And our stats, man, we're looking good. We've got we've got some really interesting items that just kind of transcend stats. Black Candle, for sure. One of the... Probably a really crucial pickup, honestly, to have no... Excuse me? Why did you explode? Uh, yeah. Yeah, man, I'm happy to see a speed up. There's there's nothing to complain about there. And we can go ahead and say, yeah, let's go see, uh, let's go see what Mr. Boss has to say for himself. We're gonna blow this guy up. Oh, flat file. Now, flat file is better than uh, blue key at this point, and there's no denying that. No more spikes. That's so dang good, I could write a book about it. One of the best trinkets, honestly, out there, in my humble opinion... Uh, it makes, like, you can, it, again, it, it follows the same vein of, uh, X-Ray Vision, right? Where an item, there's, there's aspects to the game that if you have access to them, it's a, it's a little, a little boost, most floors, some floors, it's a really big boost. Either way, it always adds up to a winning difference, okay? Getting into every curse room from here on out, it's good, you're gonna get spirit hearts. You're gonna get guppy items. You're gonna get deal with the devil items on some runs. Maybe you don't get anything, but it never hurts to go in at this point. So, uh, if you can't tell, I really love the situation we're in, uh, item wise. And this is never know if you don't know. Not necessarily scared of the horde aspect in the rooms anymore, because, like, if I get lucky, the enemies just die. And not only that, but I can, like, target the next ones with a dead one, if I'm smart with it. So, gotta love it. Alright, we're gonna... Oh! What? Nod, leave? I don't have a, I don't have a way to get money, do I? That's too bad. Nod, leave would be so good. I mean, there's a way to get money. It's not, like, the best way. Why is there a coin? What is that? What is that coin? I mean, there's also... We can go in here. I don't remember what this one was. Ah. Yep, unfortunately, we can't do it. We can't get Nod Leaf. That is just too bad. We're so close. Tri uh, Reap Creep, that's what his name is, not Triacnid. Triacnid is uh, the womb guy. Okay. Whoa. Hello, buddy. Yeah, it's only a matter of time before we get a good shot on him with either Godhead or something good. And I, honestly, in my mind, I thought that hitting a Uranus shot on these guys does eventually lead to, like, a slowdown for bosses, but I must be incorrect because it's not happening. Oh! Okay. I love that. I never... I, I can't tell the difference between when it's a quad burst and when it's just the regular shot. If you couldn't tell, I'm very talented at the game. Uh, 
<laughs> no denying that. <laughs> We're gonna sun it up. Let's see what we've got on this floor. Right. Oh, quarter's actually very awesome there. Uh, boom. Yep. So could have gone in there with bombs actually, but because uh, we no longer have blue key, which I kind of forgot about, but now I remember. Temperance. Ooh. Okay. Going to be very interesting to be uh, in here today. Okay. Blood bag is an insane addition to the collection here. The HP and speed. Honestly, it's one of my favorite items to see. And it's, it's so good because you can get it so, so often in the game. It's a very common item to find. Uh, you gotta love items like that, right? I mean, part of the magic in Isaac is that there really is no one way to play. And you're gonna get different items every time. But also, kind of the interesting part is, like, you can get some reliability on runs. You know, you, you, you will be able to do enough on a run to see some of the same items across runs. I think that's cool. I do. And we've got the shop and the item room. I'm cooking up a mean one in that secret room, though. There's a lot of drops on that room. On that room alone. And uh, it's money, which I actually want, so I'm kind of conflicted. Like, what, what's better than money? A spirit heart. So I already have that a lot of HP, so now what? Okay, good point. We're kind of in an endless circle currently. A luck up penny is so awesome. Boom, boom. Boom, 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 boom. I mean, I want to give this uh, a chance. I want to give it the most chance I can get. And just see you know, what we can really shake loose with this uh, synergy. So. Oh, wow. Yeah, I've taken BFF. That's no-brainer. All right. Okay. It rerolls into a secret room item. That is kind of cracked at Fortnite a little bit. Golden Bomb, I mean, you, you think would be great here. And it, it probably is. It probably is. It's definitely worth a take. And now we just, now we keep playing. Oh, okay. Blood Bag we take and we say, you know what? That was great. We don't need to keep pushing this one around. We got a lot out of it. And uh, we're happy. Now you could keep going there. D20's got a pretty high ceiling, clearly, with the rerolls on Keeper's Box. I mean, this is, this is, I'm, I'm like kind of over the moon with how cool this synergy is i've never seen it i've never i've never had it and i've never seen anybody else have it either so that's cool learning something new okay let's just freeze them yeah yep uh alabaster box honestly it it, it could be worth taking at this point but it's not overly necessary what is overly necessary is getting done because uh, I need dinner, my friends. I really do. Woo! Now I've got a question here. Let's let's do a little uh, let's do a little Q and A. I have seen both sides of the world on this one. Um, I I honestly I don't think there's really a wrong answer I mean actually I do think there's a wrong answer I, I, let's let's do a let's do a little talk and defend here I think people who stay up late and wake up late are worse than people who get up early and go to bed early <laughs> I think they're lesser than citizen and I think they should change their ways why do I think what, what makes me believe in this daytime meta, you may ask? Well, I mean, you just... It feels like you're a more productive person. I mean, if we're calling shots, like I am. I mean, I may not be qualified to talk about it in this way, but obviously there's some satire here to be considered. Um, but listen, if you're, if you're a late-nighter, I, I don't really vibe with that decision. 
I think you should be trying to get up early. Because, I don't know about you guys, I don't like the late night. Like, the world gets quiet, right, in the dark. And people either like it quiet when it's late at night or when it's early morning. I personally like waking up. I wake up at 5.30, but that's for work. And, you know, on weekends I like to wake up at like 6. Just just to follow the trend. I can't believe he that hand reaches me there. Um, at all. Actually, I'm in shock. I like to get up early. And I go to bed earlier as well as a result. Okay, it's not like you get more time, but... It just feels right. It feels like that's what everybody else is, you know, it, it's the daytime meta, man. There's a reason we're all working during the day. There's a reason we're all going to school during the day. Uh, you know, there's a reason why grocery stores are closing. You know, it's just, you know let's use some context clues here, okay? We're, we, we don't have to be, it's unnatural, you know, honestly. I think uh, people who kind of go against that grain and they stay up late, I'm telling you this, I worked at night. So one of my jobs before the one I have right now is uh, I worked in a hospital. And I was a CNA. And I don't... There's a lot of reward to working that job. I mean, a lot of reward. Like, a lot, a lot when you're helping the patients and they're just on one. You know, you're really loving life. But there's also there's also a lot of bad. Okay, there's... If you're on the fence about it, this I cannot imagine this applies to anybody who's watching this. But if you are, you know... Go for it. You know, I, you know, you don't lose anything by spending a few months, few, few months at the uh, hospital doing your job. But I worked nights, and it sucks ass, and I hated it. And uh, ever, I mean, I just cannot understand the rationale. Like, it's literally awful. <laughs> uh, staying up late when no one else is awake. Because, you know, let's think about the context. Right? Most people are daytimers at this point. And um, when you don't work, huh, when you don't work, you're just up from 4 p.m. till, I mean, I would just go to bed at like 5 a.m. on those days. But usually, you know, work, work was until... 7.30 in the morning, so you go get get home and you know, go to bed after that. Get back up and do it again. But it is miserable, dude. Like, you're tired. Like, working nights, you're tired. I mean, it's not... Nothing about it is good for the uh, for the mental. Like, I, I would call in... I mean, it's... Obviously, you know, it's... You shouldn't do this, but I, I, I was just... I hated it. I called in more than I have on any other job. Just because I was like, I, I can't go to work today. And the, and the job was easier at night. I mean, there's less less people running around, less everything, less hustle and bustle. Most of the patients are asleep. But it was not enough to make that, like, a better deal in my mind. I was like, okay, this still sucks for me. Like, yeah, the job gets easier. But I would, the daytime in a hospital is busier than any job I've ever had in my life. I'm taking so much damage, I don't even understand I don't even understand how we're still alive. I mean, this would be a good room to mess around in. So, if we're talking, like, quality of work, nighttime shift's generally a lot more chill. You have, there's just less access to stuff, though. Like, there's nobody else. Let's say you work, I don't really know. What else really works nights? Um, is, do where, some warehouses maybe do? I mean... Right, maybe. But uh, other than that, dude, I would love to know somebody else's opinion on this. Um, I've got friends who are late nighters, and uh, I've, I know one of them watches the YouTube from time to time. So you know exactly who you are, Mister. Uh, you and your brother stay up much too late for my liking, and I just don't understand. I mean, I, I cannot, I cannot come around to any opinion other than daytime is just better than the nighttime just as uh, there's there's literally no way i can elaborate it further that's that's just what you're gonna get wow there you go wow that is so cool we got flip we got flip from the city so this i i can't this might be one of the better synergies in the game 
And it's definitely unknown. I, I, I've never heard of it in my life. It's definitely one you don't see very often. There's a lot of setup required. It's, it's tough because it's not a two-item synergy, is it? It's a three-item synergy. You need backpack for it to work. Okay, that's... That's part of the game. And... If you don't have backpack, you can't ever do this. So, I... It's a hard one to get. But it's very... I'm just... I'm getting... I'm getting Hulk mad right now. I'm legitimately hulking out in inside. We got so many good things. I just want to be at 12 HP and drive this run home. I feel like we're definitely in that potential. Oh! Oh my god, that man went insane! That man went crazy! Skull X, you better calm down. Alright, I will take it. We're not anywhere near Polaroid Invincibility, so we'll take a speed, a shot speed up, honestly. It's not bad. So what am I saying here? Uh, wrapping that one up, I, I honestly think that one's completely said and done at this point. I... I'm never going to come around, but I would love to know what other people think of that one. Because, you know, if you if you yourself are like, you know what, I love staying up late on weekends. I just feel like I have more time. I get it. You know, I get that. I get that so hard. It's just like, my argument is not at that point, okay, well, you know, why don't you just do something? It's, it's you can get that same time just by waking up in the, in the quiet of the morning and watching the sunrise. I, I like the sunrise more than the sunset, honestly. I think I do. Ooh, a lucky penny's in there. Golden Heart, honestly, could be pretty valuable for uh, flipping. Like, it'll D20-ing on uh, the chest. That's very cocky to us. Oh, wow. Ice cube. So that, that actually... Okay, no. <laughs> that synergizes well with our current setup. It's just a, fro it's a frozen wasteland type of run. Look at that sprite. He looks scary. Let's kick him. So yeah, I... I think I've made my point. However, however, you know, ADHD ridden it was, we did eventually get to some. Yeah, I'm going to take a luck up in two keys. Because I like Spirit Hearts. Contrary to how my play is, uh, is. I do. We got Hermit and we got Empress. Empress is good enough. Empress is so good enough. It's just such a strong, excuse me. Stretch a strong bonus. Uh, we'll go in here. We've gotten a lot of vaults on this run. And I'm just going to, I mean, listen, there is a lot of opportunities for D20. I could, I could run over and take every coin and pill, walk into the seeker room and D20 some more to get, you know, chests that potentially have items. That, that is totally the right, or, or here, you know, that's totally the right play if uh, you need it. But... If you're just uh, if you're looking to see the job get done at this point, that's what I'm here for. I I would love to say I can make the right play every single time, regardless of uh, time constraints or anything. But it's, truthfully, I won't be able to. So you guys get the mediocre dodging and suboptimal play, and you're just gonna have to deal with it. <laughs> that's what you signed up for. Kick a frozen rock into mom's heart here fight's going well oh there we go we got backstabber active that's you know, big on the damage ups i'm trying to use our ever lovely uh flashlight to slow down our shots that were incoming we missed the 80 percent deal with the devil that sucks but unfortunately there's no real dispute i mean we nothing we can do about it Woo! almost it got hit all right So let's let's take one last look at our stats here before we go to the next floor. Why do they look so good? I don't know if I talked about it, but blood I was probably on on my own little zone there. Bloody gust every time we get hit is gonna be small tears and speed up. We actually have 2.0 speed legit though. We didn't actually need bloody gust boosts, which is kind of cool. That's awesome. And this is a long one. 
Ah, oh, aha. Uh -huh. So here would be a time you'd use D20 and uh, it would go crazy. If we had Keeper's Box D20 in that room, man, oh my god. Wow, I'm just getting the luckiest types of dodges I've ever seen. Oh my god. Thank you, Charge Baby. Offering some relief there. Oh, thought I killed you. Only annoying part right now of Mr. Figgy Newton fruitcake is we don't shoot straight every time. And like the, they'll hang around, they'll, they'll fly around the wall or do something annoying and I'm, I kind of lose my, my uh, understanding for how we even have it at this point. We're going to go ahead and do this. So when D20 is ready, we've got uh, some more D20 little stuff. D20 is really good on the chest as well. Um, the game plan is, as always, to reroll into chests. And if you can do that on the actual chest, they just turn into items. So, you know, it's just, it's a little way to get maybe a couple extra items and maybe they're good. You just never know. Uh, what we are hoping for to see is chests because chests offer more than the uh, the average bear. The, you know, the chest counts as only one rerolled consumable, but it would offer more than one in return. So, a late a late stage uh, to be pulling off potentially another epic reroll into something. We've already got flip. Okay, we already we already did something insanely cool with the synergy, so I, I'm totally happy with it. But maybe there's something else here. I don't know. I don't know if that's true or not. I could bring those pills in. I just, I, I'm, I'm, I'm. If I see the boss, we're going to the boss. That's that's where it's at right now. Oh, you better chill out, Mister. You guys remember when Arnold Schwarzenegger was Mister Mister was froze Mister Freeze from Batman? <laughs> George Clooney was Batman. Anyone else remember that? I remember that. I like that movie. It's a kid. And I don't know what it is about Lego games. Okay, the Lego games went hard. Right, Lego games went... They they went so hard. We would have seven extra rerolls if I took the pills in. Okay, let's... I'm just going to acknowledge it, but I have no intention of fulfilling that. Uh, okay, well, there you have it. I'm thinking of Lego Batman. Dude, that game is... That game was good. And all the Lego games are good. I don't know what it is. I mean, in my childhood. I don't really know... I know they made a Lord of the Rings one. I don't actually... Or The Hobbit, I think it was. I don't even know if it was Lord of the Rings. Never played it, so I can't speak to the newer stuff. I never played uh, Lego Indiana Jones either, I don't think. But I did Batman and Star Wars uh, heavily. I mean, that, was, that was like the game. Okay, I, I loved Legos like in real life. And then I also was a Star Wars watcher as a kid. Like, dude, it was legitimately, I was the target audience. And when I tell you I was, like, the consumer, I, I spent every allowance I had on uh, Legos. And, dude, when we got a PS2, I, I cannot I tell you how many times I had played those games, the Lego games specifically, man. I, I was so deep. I, that was, like... The birth of YouTube, too, so, like, you know, you could YouTube, like, where to find some mini kits, but then also it wasn't, like, it wasn't, YouTube wasn't, like, how it is now, where there is literally everything for everything. There was kind of a limited amount of, uh, resource and knowledge back in the day, but, yeah, those games were so awesome. PS2, I, there was, uh, oh, so Flip doesn't actually work on these, huh? I can't say I'm surprised. I cannot say I'm surprised. That's too bad. So we did something cool. It translated into nothing at the end of the day, other than we got a quality four item out of nothing. Gonna have to take it as face value as you can here. Thank you, better baby. Start kicking some bombs around. Somebody will swallow one. 
Nobody There's two in a row, and neither of them swallowed a bomb there. I just don't believe it. Getting our BFF Gemini involved here. Why the heck not? We're taking damage wherever we can find it. Oh. Sweet Spirit Heart. More than welcome addition. Just gonna take it. Why the heck not? Ow. Ooh, Riding Baby's so good. If we got conjoined, that'd be really good. It's possible. I mean, all we need is one more familiar that counts for it. Oh. I don't mind taking hits, I guess, because at the end of the day, it's just going to add to our ever-lovely tier rate, and uh, that's that's just going to make us do even better, even quicker. No, don't pick up the pennies, dude. They can get d20 Ooh. We should be able to get an item out of this room. If we don't, I'll be just insanely disbelief. But we should be able to get it done there. I'm really hoping this is the way of the boss. I don't... It seems like I never really get it. On the first try, we might be... We might be going for a little longer of a ride here, but... There you go, box of spiders. That's what we wanted, right? Okay, let's see. Boom. Oh my gosh, we actually got conjoined. What is that? Oh my gosh. Alright, so conjoined is so cool. Why the heck not? We'll add some more pennies to the fray. Why the heck not? Okay, that's... That's in reference to when we fought him the first time. I mean, you should... Oh, Mom's Contact is one of the best tier effects in the game. Uh, when you hit enemies... Oh, wait a minute. We have Uranus. So we already do that. I guess I'm... Uh, I guess I'm mistaken. It's uh, just like Uranus, actually. But it might be luck-based, if I don't remember. If I remember correctly. Yeah. So it actually gets pretty good uh, when you get higher luck. So... I think Uranus is a flat rate, maybe it's a high flat rate, but it is a flat rate. Oh, what was that? Anytime you get this, you know, gravity affecting items, the bosses usually act a little quirky. There's the seed. I mean, a run's a run, man. That was a really cool one. Never before done in my books. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, that was win number 33, so I'll uh, see you guys for the next one.